Hello everybody and welcome back to Mac Short Trainings. Today we're going to focus on Safari useful tricks. There are a lot of useful tricks and cool keyboard shortcuts that you can use in Safari. Here are some examples. So let's open Safari, let's say you look for something on Google, um, let's say telecom, right? And after you drill down through a couple of shortcuts and you go down and down, Alright, you want to go back to the original search. Just press Option Command S and Safari is going to take you back to the original search. Right? Another useful shortcut is Command L. Command L is going to put the insertion point back into the address bar. Uh, the same command, Command L, is going to highlight the address that you have in the address bar so you can change it. Remember, in Safari you can leave out the HTTP and www. The application will fill those out for you. For example, if I want to go to my blog, .wordpress.com, I don't have to put www or http, it's going to fill those out for you. Also, if you make a mistake, Safari will, tell, will take you to uh, the Google search, right? So let's say if you do wiki, it's Wikipedia, it's going to open right up. But if you do wiki, let's say we make a mistake, there you go, it's going to open Google and it's going to find for the closest match, right? You can start some of the applications directly from Safari. If you like working with your keyboard a lot and like working fast like me, this will come in very handy. So the apps I found so far are the following. Uh, iChat column, double slash, it's going to open right up. Command Q is going to quit the application, right? Command L, put the insertion point back, address book, another one, it's going to open right, oh, let's see, there you go, it's going to open it right up. Command Q is going to quit it, when L, the insertion point is back in the address bar. Um, iCal, the calendar application, it's going to open right up. Command Q. And so far and so forth. Uh, some other ones that I discovered are Reminders, FaceTime, and the one that I like the most is Mail2. Right? The Mail2 command, the Mail2 command is going to open up your default Mail program. Right. Actually, it's going to do more than that. You can actually fill in the to field from here. You can populate it from here, right? So, I'm going to put my email address at gmail.com. It's going to open up Outlook with my email address already populated, right? Command Q to quit. Command D to discard. Everything is back. Command L to put the insertion point back, right? Let's go to my blog again. Another very cool keyboard shortcut is, this one is actually very well known but I'm going to mention it anyway, is command plus and minus to enlarge or reduce the entire web page, right? So command minus is going to reduce it, command plus is going to enlarge it, all right? That's it for today, thank you for watching and don't forget to check out my blog watermarked at the bottom of the video.